All right, everybody. When I bought, or when we bought the side-by-side, -side, we got a winch with a steel cable. And I thought it was the best thing at the time, and I was so wrong. It's strong, and it's great, but it gets tangled up, and it's hard to pull out. It's a lot of maintenance. It gets kinked. So anyway, we are upgrading to a rope, synthetic rope. And I got the kit. I've never done it. So if you watch me, we'll learn together. Then when you do it, it should be easy for you. Hopefully, it's easy for me. I'm going to spin you around and show you what we got. Okay, so on the KRX, I got the dealer winch or the, the worn winch. And I got the, I'm almost positive, I got the VRX 45. So that's the kit I bought. Now what comes in it? is a rope of course and that doesn't come with a hook so we'll have to reuse our old hook and it comes with some bolts but it comes with a different head on it and i'll show you the head that's on it that's the main reason you have to buy the upgrade kit because that one's for a steel cable and this one is for the rope now after if we ever replace the rope we'll just have to buy the rope we don't have to buy this upgrade kit my first step is to get this tangled mess out of here. Is that right, Penny? Is that what we're going to do? Penny, we're going to get that? Mm, I got to help her. On this winch, you have a release on the side, and that unlocks it, and it's supposed to be able to free spool there. Oh, get this off. So it's supposed to free spool. I just turned it, and a little knob on there, and I'll show that knob in a minute. It's supposed to free spool, so we're going to see how far it free spools out. Isn't that right, Dolly? Oh, it might go. All right, guys, what I have is a little socket. This is a Stanley socket uh, with an Allen head on it. And I figured out that it is a eight millimeter. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking this roller head off. The main reason I'm doing that now, well, first of all, there's no instructions for this. I'm just figuring it out. But I'm taking this out to get it out of the way so I can get in here and attach my cable. Take this cable off and put my rope on. Dog just walked by and bumped the camera in case you're wondering what that was. Well, these were surprisingly loose. I don't know if there's a nut on the other side or not. We'll find out. I'm thinking there's a nut on the other side. All right. We'll pause right there and figure out where the nut is. If I can get... All right, so I tried to take these out that holds the fairing on and it's just spinning. So I looked for a nut on the back, couldn't find a nut. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these four bolts out for this plate that that is attached to. So that's what we're gonna try to do now. Mm, a little tighter. We'll pause there until I get that off. Okay, so I got my bolts loose. And for one, that works out as planned. Ah, uh, now I see why I couldn't see that. So you definitely gotta take this roller head off or this thing off to put that other one on. All right, guys, so I've struggled and tried to figure this out. Like I said, I couldn't, there's no instructions with it. I guess if you do this, you're probably supposed to know how. So it looks like my winch cable right here goes in goes out another hole and doubles back through to here. So what I do, I still got my winch on free. So right here's where it doubles. So guys, I'm gonna have to take, can you see this? I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I'm gonna keep on to get that cable out right here. And then once I get it out, I'll put a pair of pliers on it, pull it on through and then I'll pull it through right here, out this hole. That's my plan, now let's see if it works. All right, I was right, this was doubled and stuck in there. And I just kept prying with a screwdriver and prying. You can see pry marks where I missed them, that got it on there. It was, that was a task, to say the least. 
so <clears throat> still a task all right hello we got it out all right i did get instructions on how to put it back together my wife was just like sometimes women think better than men she was just like, why didn't you just look at this and follow the instructions in reverse? And I'm like, well, if I'd have looked at this first, at least I would have known that there, how the cable was doubled in there and there's a little pin, if that shows up, or a little something that goes in it to keep it from doubling on back itself and coming on through. So there's that. So it looks like we just run it in. All right, I got it coming through. Then I put this back through. The other one. I'm trying to get it back like the other one was. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the camera way too. Nothing is easy. I'm gonna help it on through. I'd like to get it a little deeper in there. That's what I'd like to do. I guess that's as far as it's going in there. I'm going to stick this little piece in there to jam it up. I believe it's in there and then we'll just roll it up after we put the fairing head on all right so I'm taking this old fairing fairing head whatever you call it taking it off and uh, so we can put our new one on our new one goes right in there okay what it is is a 17 millimeter on the back and that's an eight millimeter in there, that side. Not a whole lot to it. And you can save these nuts and bolts right here if you want to. But there's actually, it comes with new ones. And if you're wearing flip flops like me, make sure you don't drop this on your feet. There's our new one. And I don't know that it matters, but we're going to put the logo up top. Ooh, I'll drop one level. So this is a pretty simple deal. We're just going to put that on. Well, I really don't like that it's got a gap there, but I guess that don't matter. We're going to put that on and tighten it. I'm not going to bore you with that. We'll just uh, pause for right now. And right, so we got our winch cable on. Winch rope on, I should say. So now we're going to roll it back up. Now I want to roll it tight. It is not important, it, as important to get it tight like the cable, but still important to get it tight. Okay, so first of all, Want to make sure that you turned your knob on the inside and engage the winch. Got it back in gear. And I got my remote hooked up. 
And I'm just going to keep pinching on it and roll it. Can you film right there or not? Can you see inside there? The wrap? Probably can't. But I'm trying to make sure that the rope lines up like it's supposed to. Where it's laying where it's supposed to. See how it's layered? That's what I'm trying to do when I when I roll it. And I'm going to roll it all the way to that side over there. Then let it overlap and come back this way the same way. And you want to also make sure that you're going in with this the right way and out. When you will go in when you're doing this. All right, guys. So we're not done yet. We've got our head on. We've got the rope wrapped up on it. But now that comes with this. I, I call it a rock guard. Now I don't know if that's what it is for sure, but that's what I'm calling it. And all it is is a sleeve. And you're gonna put this on your cable Let's see if I got enough if I stopped it far enough so what that does is if you're pulling your side by side or whatever you're using this you you this you if you're coming on a rock if the ro rope's gonna be rubbing a rock you lay this on the rock and the rope will slide through it and not get cut on the rock all right, and then we're not done. We got to take this does not come with an end, the cable end, the hook. So we're gonna take our one off the other one and put it on. I'll show you how to do that. So all we need, we hope this comes off, is just the pliers to straighten this cotter pin. We'll pull it out. Don't lose it, but y'all probably lose it. We'll push your pin out and to be honest i could probably use another one of these but that's all right you put your rope through it boom put your cutter pin back in it and spread it out sometimes it's not as simple as it should be there it goes so once you get it in there all the way you just bend it Try it a different way. The simplest part is what's rough. All right, so I was struggling there, then I just didn't realize that all I had to do was hold this. Probably it's not that simple when you're trying to do it out where you get the camera view. Like that. And you want that in there flat where it won't snag on stuff. So now we'll just roll her up. To leave it loose all right guys so if you if you enjoyed this and if it works for you if it helped you out uh, i got on the struggle bus just a little bit but it didn't take me long to get back off of it so if you like this and it helps please subscribe uh, i'm out here working for you and trying to earn your uh support i had something on the camera it was bugging me anyway i'm trying to earn your support so please uh subscribe and and help a brother out thank you